right, there it is. Hey, what's up, everybody? Fatboy Dan here, man. I am gearing up for my fishing season. That's right. The 2018 fishing season, well, for many of us, it's already been here. Some, well, some of us fished in the snow and on the ice. And here in Indiana weather, man, it's bipolar. One day you can sit there and have it warming up to the 50s and even breaking the 60s. Next thing you know, you can have it drop a couple inches of snow, up to eight inches of snow in some parts. Well, I'll tell you what, man. What I'm doing right now is I'm getting ready to strap up my fishing rod. And when I'm talking about a fishing rod, I'm talking about my new BOW Muddy River Catfishing Rod. That's right. Now what I'm going to be strapping up first is the flathead rod. Okay, well that's pretty cool. When I think of Chris Flores, I think of a fisherman who targets a lot of flatheads. Mainly probably the reason why is because in his waters, that's one of the fish in the catfish species that fishes in his waters. And what I mean by fishes in his water, swimming around in his water because in flatheads they do fish themselves. Bam! Snatching up all that prey that they're after. And a flathead, in fact, can be one of the hardest fighting catfishes, in my knowledge. Channel cats, they got a little bit of a fight. Blue's got a big, fat, lazy fight. But a flathead, boom, he's got that muscle fight. Almost like a carp. You know, when I think of flathead fight and a carp fight, they're coming together. And what I'm going to be showing you now is this fishing rod and exactly what reel I'm going to be teaming this up with. Now, I don't have the money just to go out and get me a, a brand new reel to throw on this because there's other reels I would love to throw on this. In fact, I would have. But I'm the broke fisherman I'm going to have to use with one of these reels that I got back over here to make this fishing rod, oh, so much better for me to fish. But let me tell you a little bit about what Muddy River did. Uh, Chris Flores, man, when you think of him fishing, you always see him with the open face. Uh, that's right, a spinning model. So when he came out with these new fishing rods, he had them available in two different rods. Uh, he had them in spinning and he had them in casting. Myself, I decided, well, Chris, he fishes with open face. I might as well go the same route and get the spinning rod. So that's what I did. Now, this is uh, exactly, this is a seven-foot rod. This is a big, beefy rod. I mean, it's not over beefy. It's not under beefy. It's a medium, heavy action, actually. It actually has e-glass, okay? This is all the way through the handle with the aluminum reel seat. What I noticed about this was the shininess of it. I'm like, man, that's pretty clean looking. Almost looks like an aerodynamical uh, spaceship. You know, that's what it could be like. That. See that right there? Beautiful. And what I also noticed about this, which is great, is it actually has two locking nuts. A lot of times you got these reels, and when they set up on these, they sit there, and after time, you know you're moving your hands back and forth. You're not even knowing it. You'll actually have some of these... Uh, twisty bolts, or I should say the locking mechanism, will back up out of there. And with this, you actually have it where you can lock both of them down. You'll lock this one in to hold your reel in position, and then the other one will uh, lock it down as well. But I also noticed what he took a step above was also mounting a uh, O-ring in between that. That way these two don't get so tight together that it's incredibly where you can't get it off. So that's going to be a big step right there. And I also noticed when I felt it, I was like, man, this is a very nice grip on this. It's not like uh, other rods who usually have a cork or your traditional um, EVA foam, if I said that right. He went with the non-slip rubber grip. Because, you know, a lot of times when you're out there and you live that river life and you're barefoot on a sand bank on a muddy bank, well, you know, of course, muddy river, uh, you'll have mud on your hands and you'll actually have your uh, hands slipping at times off of that. Now, this is a very good grip. Seems like it's well on there. Well made on there. Uh, but what I also liked about it is with the fact that, you know, this doesn't uh, taper to the, the shape of the, you know, uh, it's just the lines aerodynamic because, you know, like like pinstriping going down your fancy car. That's kind of what this does. It's like the fancy pinstriping going down, telling you the lines and the curves of it. Woo! Which would be putting your hands in the right positions, actually. If you look at the curves where you, right here and back here, this would be where you'd have your hands at. So when you see it right there, when you're fighting them. And also I noticed that this has incredible, uh, nice fill underneath of it. Like it has some kind of cushions underneath it. So you're thinking you're going to grip it and it's just going to be hard underneath of it. It's not. It's, it's actually got some kind of foam or something underneath it, which is very nice. Uh, logo, outstanding on the logo. I mean, you can just see that. Uh, and then the flathead rod, you know, you think of it, uh, it's got the flathead rod and... It's uh, big bold letters with the cracked up thing because I know a lot of times where Chris Flit fishes out, uh, his rivers can run dry, which will leave your riverbank looking like that. Now, like I said, this is a seven foot. This is well, let me, let me just read this off the card so I give you a better accurate of what you was going to get if you was to buy this yourself. This is a seven foot medium heavy e glass blank. Now, this is through the handle. Says it has a heavy duty aluminum reel seat, which I showed you. That's, that's incredible. I love them. You have to have them. I mean, you don't necessarily have to have them, but that's when you know you got a good um, fishing rod. Now, soft touch, no slip, speed grip. Mm -hmm. Speed grip. And a one 
piece stainless steel guides. Now let me tell you a little bit about the guides, what he's talking about in there. The guides when they're one piece. See how they are right there? One piece, no inserts. Boop! You can poke them out. A lot of times you got you fish braid. Braid is hard on the inside of these guides. If you had guides that have inserts, a lot of times they will pop out. I mean, almost every one of my fishing rods I probably got a guide on. At some point, they've broken out. The guides have. So this one piece. Another great thing about these, if you'll notice on these, you'll see the feet on both sides. Feet on both sides means you can chop, whop, chop it, and hit it a few times against things. Not recommended in doing that, but if you drop it a couple times, you don't have to worry about it bending to one side. You have reinforced uh, on both sides your feeding, so that's good. Very good. Now he does have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guides going up a seven foot rod. And another reason why he probably went with seven feet, you're thinking about it, a lot of fishing rods nowadays are seven and a half feet. Um, when I do a little bit of bank fishing, uh, you know, bank lines, I'll still set out a seven foot on the, on the bank with, with the rods, uh, you know, bank rods. But a seven foot gives you that because, you know, flatheads are not real long. Uh, most of the time they're short and they're just fat and they're beefy. And that's kind of what this rod does. It gives you the seven foot. It says, hey, this is a flathead rod. Now, he's got a beautiful black paint job onto it uh, with the scheme. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Got the white uh with outline pinstriping of green onto it. Very, very nice, beautiful. Beautiful. Um, just the coating on it is beautiful. And he also has a pure, check that out, check it out, white tip, which white tips are very, very good at night fishing. Uh, you're, even daylight fishing, you'll be able to detect your bites a little bit more. Um, white just stands out. It's like, you'll be able to see it. blink, 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 blink. Very beautiful, but I like the, the, the way he's got the pinstriping on each one of the uh, ends of the guides with their epoxy that. Now, let me tell you, uh, he also has an oh, oh, oversized hook keeper, okay? When, you, when you're fishing for flatheads, whether you're fishing for whatever. Now, this rod ain't strictly for flatheads. No, I'm, you can catch channels and blues on it. But, oversized hook right there will allow you to get your bigger hooks into it. Um, let's check out the bend on it. Uh, the bend should be incredible. Let's see it. Don't hit that down. It's got to go. Yep. So we're giving a bend to about the one, two, three, four, five. About the five at eyelet, which here gives you a, a little bit of a, a stiffer, softer um, a tip onto it, which is, uh, you know, it's got a little bit of a backbone down here. And with the little bit of uh, bending at the five guides, that's going to be for them flatheads. Because, of course, with the longer rod, you're going to have more of a softer tip. It's going to have more of a bend. With these right here, flathead will come up and smash, smash that bait. And then when he runs away with it, you want a little bit more of a stiffer part through here. That way when that hook does turn and punctures through the flathead's tough jaw, that's where the bend starts to come in, starts coming in, coming in, and then bam, right there. That's when it pits a little bit of spring back into it. And when the catfish pulls a little bit more, that's when the backbone comes in and boom, sets your hook in the right position. It's incredible. Now... What kind of reel am I going to reel this up with? I mean, what am I going to put in it? Okay, well, when I, like I said earlier, flatheads, I think of flatheads of a hard fighter. And I think of carp. Carp are another hard fighter. So I was like, man, fat boy, what kind of reel are you going to put on it? Now I would love to put a brand new reel on it. Unfortunately, the money doesn't have that in my pocket where I just pull it out and get my brand new reel like that. So what I'm doing right here, I'm getting ready to mount this up with a bank fishing systems. Uh, this right here is my carp rod. This is my nine foot carp rod. But what I want to do, is I want to take the reel off it, strip that off there like that, bam, just like that. There we go. Take that out. Put that. That's my two piece uh, rod. Now the Muddy River rod. What I like all about that too is it's one piece. You know, with one piece rods, you're going to be able to have a um, a lot more sensitivity in it because you do lose a little bit of sensitivity when you have a two piece rod. The reason why is because you have two different pieces. There's some kind of flex uh, joint in between them, which is going to not transfer uh, the sensitivity all the way down the rod, though. Two piece will still give you sensitivity, but not like a one piece. Now what I'm going to be doing right here, and this is what I was talking about, like how he has the two um, locking mechanisms right here, like this. You know, these can eventually back out. But what I'm going to be doing right here, backing this out. Now, oh, yes, whew, that's a little bit of dirty reel. But I do think, I do think that this rod right here, right here, would look tremendous beauty with this. Right here. Look at that reel. Now, the reason why I went with my bank fishing systems uh, rod, or, I mean the reel I should say, is because this has been tried to and tested by me. I mean, I've caught a number of carp on it. And one thing when I think of a flathead, what is, I mean, I really think about it right now. If you go searching for a flathead right now, 
Where are you going to anchor down or where are you going to be fishing by? What, kind, what type of cover? Wood. Most of the time, that's where we're going to be at. So there we go. Check it out. Got the little bit of a wood grain handle right there on the gold. Bam. Look at that. Flip it down. I mean, this thing's got it. And it has my drag on the front. Also has my back uh, drag. I can also adjust with my um, bank fishing systems uh, alert drags. So that way I can have it in free mode. Uh, this is going to be perfect because, you know, carp, sometimes you don't want to uh, set your... You know, just where it's clicked and the carp just can't run. Sometimes you want to set it a little bit up, adjust your back drag, flip your bell up, you know, let the carp run with it sometimes. Let them uh, run with it, and then that way you can have a reverse drag. But this is going to be a great a reel. So what I'm going to do right here is set this up. You know, everybody's going to have their preference of the reels that they're going to want on it. Um, myself, though, I do enjoy fishing for carp. And I do fishing for catfish as well. Let's just see how this baby does sit up on here. Nice. Sitting up nice. Okay. Woo, down. Come on. Got to back these out. Now, the reason why, another reason why uh, aluminum, right here, aluminum reel seats are very good. I have another rod that's sitting back here that has plastic all through here. And when I went to set the hook on a big fish one time, when I went like that, it actually snapped right there in the plastic part. Because that's where your pure of your backbone usually sits at. The balance of your rod usually sits right around that. And kind of what I mean by that real quick. I'll just show you what I mean about the balance of uh, most rods. Most rods like that, see? Right there. So, which means pits about the power of it right here into the big. Yep. See? And then that's where your pressure is. That's where the main part of your fishing rod is. So, well, we're, we are, we are almost there. We're almost there. Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's see. All right, and this is you know this is another test too that we're doing right now is actually uh, seeing what kind of reel can you actually get on these? How is it going to grip on these? How is it going to? Okay, so that's a, that's another that's another good test. Let me show you that real quick. Woo! Knocking stuff down over here. Knocking stuff down. Oh yeah, beautiful. But okay, but another thing I want to talk to you about real quick is these. If you can see these right here, um, yeah, right there, the your feet of your reel will actually sit down in this looks like it can actually handle some wide ones it's got a wide base onto it okay took that one down now i'm gonna screw these bump like that these are nice i got actually a little bit of cut grooves onto it so you can actually do it by hand nice 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 that's nice and then that's where you can screw your second one down just to make sure that you have uh, a locking mechanism that's not going to back out of you. Nice. Nice. That little O-ring in the middle sets it really, really, really nice. There it is right there. There is my, this is going to be my flathead rod. Yes, yes. Woo! Flathead rod. Check it out. Now I feel like, oh, 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 wow. Oh, wow. Boy, I, I'm telling you, I feel like I can. Boy, I feel like I'm on it now, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Now, now it has came alive. Ooh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. Gold on my ride from backside to side. Muddy rivers, how I ride. Ooh, look at that muddy river boy. Look at that. It's clean. Look at that. Flatheads. Got the wood grain with the gold. Ooh, bling, bling. I need to shine this baby up. Yeah, man. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to be able to, oh, I'm going to have this baby. Oh, man. Now, this is going to be my fat flathead rod. Now, I'm going to have a, a rod. I got a different rod for my blues. I have a different rod for my channels. And I like to target, you know, it's kind of like when you're uh, bass fishing. You have a bass fishing rod, you have your small mouth rod, large mouth rod, you have your pan fishing rod. Different rods call for different techniques, different fish call for def different techniques and different rods. But I'll tell you what, man, right here is going to be incredibly. This is what you call my flathead rod. I feel like now I feel like I have the power to go out. I'm not playing, man. I'm not playing. I, now I have a feeling like I'm going to go out. And... 
here in Indiana, you can fish with three rods. That's great. Okay, so now I got a rod for blues, a rod for flat, flatheads, and I got a rod for channels. Because after all, when you bait your rod up, you're going to be going for one of the others. You do some dead fish, most likely going for some blues. You're doing some stink bait. Odds are you're going for channel catch. You're doing some lively bait. Odds are you're going to be targeting flatheads. But I'll tell you what, man, this is my little quick little review of the Muddy River Catfishing Rod. Until another episode of Fat Boy Dan's Great Outdoors, man. I want y'all to live to fish, fish to live, and I will see you guys somewhere in the woods or on the water. But now I feel like I got the power with me.